welcome back to our channel is your girl Thomas teaches if I join us for the first time you are highly welcome today I want to show us how to draft a basic gown I've done the basic top before now the, the link I will send in the link and there's also some other my videos but today I want to show you how to convert it to a gown how to also sew a basic gown so what we'll be needing for this tutorial are scissors our tape measure our ruler our marker our pen and our measurement so to draft this uh, basic gown first of all we're going to see draft the basic top first which are going to be attaching on the skirt so i have my pattern paper like i said and also i run online tutorials if you are interested in joining our class please send us a whatsapp on the number you see on the screen there just send us a whatsapp that you're interested and we'll, we'll join you to the class i also want to brush up on your skills we are always there like i always say no knowledge is a waste so to get started what i've been needing here the measurement i need here especially for the top is the bust measurement the, the shoulder the bust point the under bust the half length then for the other parts the second part which is the skirt part we need the, the hip measurement the length of the skirt which we're going to be joining with the length of the the top okay and then we'll need the the knee length also so let's get started first i'm just going to be drafting our basic uh, our basic top but this is what i'm going to be using you can use princess uh that here and you can just use normal that here but i think i should use a princess that so here is our starting line like you always know I'll be marking the shoulder measurement. I will leave one inch here, or you can use half inch at the upper part here. You can use half inch. This is one of the subscribers requests I get that's why I want to just do it for everybody and if you have any requests just put it in the comment section we will attend to you so the shoulder I'm using is 14 14 divided by 2 will give you 7 I mark my shoulder measurement then from there I'll be marking my armhole the armhole I'm using here is 8 inches then I'll mark my shoulder slant of one inch. You can use one inch or half inch or three quarter inch, depends. So I'm using one inch here. The boss point I'm working with is nine inches. The under bust is 11 and a half inches. Then the half length I'm using is 14 inches but for the purpose of this style this uh, basic style i want to show us i'm going to be adding extending the length of my half my half length i'll be extending it with five inches so it stops at 18. sorry so i'll be i'll stop i'll be extending my front with five inches so let's rule them out. So do whatever the switch shoulder you have here, you mark it down here also seven inches. Connect the line. The neckline I'll be using here is three inches. Connect the shoulder slant. So 
So let me insert my bust measurement here at the chest line. The bust measurement I'm using is 34. 34 divided by 4 will give you 8 and a half. So I'll insert that here. And also bring it down to the bust point. It's the same thing. So now I want to put my armhole. All this, if you watch my video, you will get familiar with them. So now I've inserted my armhole, but remember the front armhole is always deeper by half inch. So I'll now join it like this. So I've done my front armhole, and here is the back armhole. And I've inserted my bust. So my under bust, which is as good as the waistline, when you divide it by four, you insert your measurement here. So I'll be inserting my hip measurements here. So I've marked my measurements, my shoulder, my chest line, the armhole is out, the front armhole. We'll have the, the busts, we'll have the waist measurement which I took down to the extended line here. You know, we added four, you can add four inches or five inches, depends on you. So I added uh, about five inches here to extend my waist line, the front, just for the front. So but I want to make it a princess. But not that, uh, not the bustier princess, just normal princess. So I'll come to my bust point here. The bust, bust to bust, uh, bust span measurement is eight. Eight divided by two will give me four. So I'm going to mark it all the way down here. I'm marking that all the way down. And I'll come to my armhole get the center which is three and a half and connect that let's connect that in a curvy manner really so i'm not going to be removing that here just a straight princess uh, top so all i need to do now i've Finish drafting the front pattern. You can see how beautiful the princess looks. We're not using our normal process of removing that and shaping it as a cup, as a bustier. No, this is just a normal princess. So let me just add my sewing allowance of one inch all the way down. Now you can use one inch, one and a half, two inch depends on you. For but for this illustration, I'm just using one inch. So that's all we have here. So let me trim it off. For my neckline, I'll just uh, come down by, for the front, three inches. For the back, I use one and a half inch. I hope you are understanding this. So I have my front neckline, three inches, and I have one inch as my back neckline. So but as I'm going to cut it, I'm going to be using the front neckline, the back neckline to cut, sorry.
Don't forget to add half inch here. So I've cut it off. Like I said, you, you insert the waist measurement and take it all the way down. Sorry, not the hip because we still have the lower part, which is the skirt part, so attached to this. So now I want to show you how to draft that uh, basic uh, part of the waistline. So what I'm going to do now, from this my extended part now, I'm going to curve it straight to the waistline. That was why I extended it here. So let me do that so that you see. Like I said, you extend it between 4 to 5 inches. So that is that shape that differentiates this from every other normal top or gown. So I'm going to trim it off now. So you can see that. You can see what I'm talking about. This is what we achieved by that extended five inches here from the waistline so that shape we are looking for here it is so once you get this don't forget i have not cut off my princess so you can easily use this to draft the back but it's not going to be extended like this let me show you we're not extended like this so here is our front with a princess dot. Then here is our back with just normal belts. I'm not going to be inserting just my normal. I have my zip zip allowance here. Here. So I just insert my normal darts. 5 inches, 6 inches. Sorry, 8 inches. Depends at least eight inches, seven inches to eight inches is what we we'll use for the back. So let me insert the dart here. You take half inch on both sides. If you watch my video, you will have seen all these illustrations. Those who are just viewing for the first time, please subscribe with us. Press the notification bell so that anytime I upload any new video, you'll be notified immediately. So here is our back body pattern. You can see that. Here's our back body pattern. Here is the front. Now, what's the difference? The same thing aside from the zip allowance and the extended front, which makes it a basic uh, gown. Here is our front, and here is our back body pattern. So next is now to show you, before I cut off this princess, now I'm going to be joining it together, is to show you how to draft it on the front uh, skirt that we're going to be attaching to this to form the gown. So here is our skirt. I've already drafted our skirt pattern. I have a video on how to draft, but if you want me, you can give us a chat, give us, uh, leave any comment, and we'll say attend to you. So here is our front pattern of the skirt. So what you need to do now is to place it together like this. You know there's going to be allowance we're going to be joining here. So we're going to be cutting up but let me show you how it does. So I have placed the the upper part on the skirt part of the of the gown so what you need to do now is that ensure that when you are placing this line where we extended the front should be on the waistline should be on the waistline like this of the skirt then here we're going to be folding this in like you know we're going to be stitching it inwards so once you do that it will not sit in well at the waist. So what you need to do now 
is to trace it out. I'm going to be cutting it like this so that it can be placed on the lower part. So what I'm going to do now is to trace it out and cut it off. And this is only done at the front. That's where the style is. It's at the front part. Front of the skirt. So now let me cut it off. So let me cut it off. See what we have now. I've cut it off. So this is now what we have. And see how that forms well. So all you need to do now is take it to the machine and stitch it together. See that? You see that? As after joining the front and the back of the bodies together you will now take it to the machine and you stitch it together you can see how beautiful it formed so once you do that don't forget I'm going to cut off our princess and join them together they cannot join it Join the front pattern to the lower part of the skirt, and your bossy gown is ready to work. Rock it on your body. So, if this tutorial has been helpful, please give us a thumbs up, share our video, subscribe to my channel. If you are just doing for the first time, please press that subscription button and subscribe with us. Like I always say. No knowledge is a waste. Thank you for watching this video. You are highly welcome. Thank you for watching it to the end. We appreciate you. We appreciate all of you. And we keep sharing our knowledge here. We run online classes also. The number on the screen is where you can send us a WhatsApp. And we'll attend to you and put you in our classes. If you want to brush up on your skills of sewing, Tama Stitches is where to go. Thank you. Bye.